Malone. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck all the bullshit, yeah. we gon' blow yeah. up and get tore. I'm sipping, 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 I'm sipping. Tonight we gon' go get drunk, get drunk. Tonight we gon' go and get fried, get fried. Jump in the wheel and slide. I don't give a fuck about a DUI. I'm sipping, 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 I'm sipping. So sipping with Sammy. Um, that's your baby. That is, that is you sipping with Sammy. Like when you're on it, I feel like you're the most comfortable. Uh, you you asking the best questions that you can ask because you got the freedom to ask people whatever you want. In the time. And the platform itself is crazy because you got so many different type of people on there. So, Sipping with Sammy, if people don't know, is your podcast. Right, my podcast. So, can we start with how it got started before we get into all of the good things? All right. As I spoke to before, um, I had the idea years ago. Um, shout out to my guy, Mad Labs. And um, he has a brother that's a comedian also, and he was going to be my co-host slash bartender. And I just had the idea to travel and talk to people and drink with them in their natural environment. Like, if you had a man cave or if you, y'all you drink at the park and, you know, it's cool, we ain't gonna get booked for doing it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Of if course. you had a bar or something that I pull up, if we could shoot there, like, I, I wasn't really particular because at the end of the day, we do this music stuff, this entertainment stuff all the time. You gotta go in all these neighborhoods any of damn course. way. Yeah. So it's like, I was willing to pull up, but, excuse me, Mad Lad's brother, shout out to him, my guy, he wound up um, getting a promotion. He's a teacher. He wound up becoming a principal. Mm. He ain't got the same kind of time no more when you were a principal. You the first one in, last one out. You take it home with you. Like, I know that lifestyle. I come up in an education family. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, congratulations, bro. Boom. So it took a little time for when it came back around to a point where I knew I could do it. I had all the resources. I had my co-hosts and whatever have you that I wanted. And part of that was um, K with Font Productions. Okay. We were um, doing a radio show. And we were discussing the podcast and things I wanted to do. And she said, well, actually, that's doable, like, tomorrow. So we hopped on Amazon, ordered some shit. You know what I mean? Started figuring out some things. Got a lo got, um, got the logo and everything situated. She, she built me an intro. Um, I actually had the perfect record to go for the intro at the time. So it felt like it all made sense. Mm -hmm. And then I swindled my homegirl into being my co-host. <laughs> and now we're here. We're and like... we're here. And we lit. But um I just wanted it to be built around good conversations with, with, with good people and focused people. So like I kept it broad. I'm in entertainment, but I don't have just entertainers on it. Most of the people probably aren't entertainers right. if I really do the math on it. But um I've had my lawyer on there. You know what I mean? Right. I, I've I've had the cigar community on there. I've had just people on there that are that that can hold good conversations that could do help add to the um what they call it the zeitgeist this 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 ongoing thing because we all affect each other For sure so these things getting out there is important to me and i feel like our generation and the next generation have never learned the art of conversation they never learn how to talk without the intent of rebutting and listening and um or they know how to read but they don't know how to ingest what they read for sure you see what i'm saying and um I just wanted to have a platform that wasn't so much about current events as it was about conversation. So what's the best conversation that you've had on Sipping with Santa? Sheesh. Um, one of the most memorable ones, I guess, would probably be one of the early episodes when I had Saf and the homie E on there. And it was just, it's memorable to me because I do a lot of stuff and I don't think about it when I'm doing it. I just do it. And they spent the whole time talking about why they appreciate me mm -hmm. as a friend. But then they got into my mom a lot. And it was just a whole lot of praise for my mom to the point, like, I told my mom, like, you got to watch the episode. Right, like, of course. Even though we smoking and drinking, like, uh, people like you. Right. You know what I mean? So she checked it out and started checking out episodes. I'm having Mom Dukes on there this year. That's one mm. of my goals for this year. She kind of agreed to it. We're going to get into it, though. But, like, that's one of the um, best ones to me just because of that, like, that was dope. That um, You always appreciate when people appreciate your folks. For sure. You see what I'm saying? Now, you're working with the Kensington Co-op. Yeah, uh, Kensington Community Food Co-op, KCFC. Absolutely. 
they definitely helping the sipper with Sammy because I recently pulled up for an episode there. Yeah, we shot a couple eps there. Thanks for pulling up. Your last one was also shot there, also. Yeah, the last one that we just released today mm -hmm. actually we released at four p.m. on um, that was a dope joint. We had the OLF podcast brothers on there. It was fun, but the Kensington Community Food Co-op is the only co-op in the city with a liquor license. Okay. So there's beer on tap. There's beer in the fridge. So it's only right that I'm a partner in that. For sure. Oh, you know what I mean? The investment was small. Um, it makes all the sense in the world. I believe in the theory behind co-opting. Mm -hmm. So um, I became a part of it. A um, couple of people you know, Poe, Nah, they be with me. They're a part of it. K's on the board. So we support them wholeheartedly. And they provide good quality food and things for the community. Like almost on some... You know, like how, how people look at Whole Foods and all of that. Right. Like when you go in there, you're going to see a bunch of brands you don't recognize, but they better for you. Right. It's not none of the nonsense on them shelves. So I appreciate that. I know that that's the direction everybody's leaning towards anyway with health. We all trying to eat better, eat cleaner. For sure. Things like that. Plus, they got beer on the other side. <laughs> so I'll be kicking it. Um, They got the indoor-outdoor seating, patio area, the... um. Parking lot, they throw festivals and events that it's dope. It's, they do a lot of community stuff over there, and um, can we expect some live there. shows for sipping with Sammy there? Um, I'm gonna do a live podcast very soon at the Inf Infinity Center with Dope Tribe Worldwide. Shout out to Red, and after that, I'm planning my live pod from the Kensington Co-op because I want it to be warmer when I when I do it. Mm -hmm. But you on my hills, <laughs> you right on my hills because I want to be able to use the indoor outdoor part. I want to be okay. able to open that that window we were sitting in front of. That open turns completely out, and it's like you outside, like it's, you know what I mean. So I want to have that whole vibe just for the look and to be able to um hopefully bring a crowd and have space for them. For sure. Yeah.